Do Templars really not have authority over mages in Tevinter? What happens if there's blood magic? What do they do? Depends on the Templar. Depends on who's bought their loyalty. What do you do when the authorities can't be trusted to do the right thing? That's how I keep busy. You read the notes on the Circle Road case? The murdered Magister's aid? Killed with an arrow instead of magic. Hard to get an angle like that. It is. Where would you take it from? I don't know the place that well, but there's a tower not far that would get a clean shot. And good cover. But if you were angry and in a hurry, if the shot were more lucky than planned... Hmm. Well, there's that bridge. Wait. Why are you asking me? Going for your thoughts. I'm fine. Oh, there's an act for the road. <laughs> I'm just a little worried about everything. But we're gonna be fine, right? We don't know that. <laughs> Very comforting. We'll manage something. Might even make it out alive. Slightly better. I try. I've been learning more about the Lords of Fortune. Have you? <gasps> what? There are allies, and it's good to make friends. There's not a Lord of Fortune I know who wouldn't like you. So, Nev, if you want to make a visit to Ferelden, my mom makes this terrific soup. You could even drop by without me. My mom loves company, and she'd enjoy your stories. You heard my apartment burn down. I'm just saying, if you need somewhere to go that's not the lighthouse, the door's open. My ma gives great hugs. Gillinane's archdemon was... I just didn't expect that many heads. No kidding. The statues back home don't look like... whatever that was. Your warden contacts, Evka and Antoine. They came through in a pinch. Where'd you meet them, anyway? It was the Deep Roads. They were there on warden business. Varric and I were after Solus. We didn't tell them at the time, of course. But you survive a deep stalker attack together, and you make fast friends. So after crossing paths in the deep roads, you kept in touch with Evka and Antoine? Yeah, we trade letters every few months. One time, Antoine sent a diagram for some kind of automatic door he was developing, based on springs. It chimed when it closed, so you wouldn't get stuck. He can be a little unorthodox. Aren't we all? So, how well do you know the Viper? Because I've heard things. Oh? What things? Like, no one really knows who he is. Is that right? That maybe he used to be a slave and now fights slavers? That would make sense. Or that he's the Archon or a Magister in disguise. Decent theory. You know, don't you? You know! What makes you say that? You totally know. With Algernon and Gillinane being... I mean... Is it hard to... If you ask the question, maybe I can answer it. They're to Vinter gods. Or they were. Or something. Does that bother you? Only if they get their way. I'm sorry Bataris got away. You win some, you lose some. Would you like me to get you something? Tea? Cake? Arrow in his temple? Whatever you need. <laughs> now I understand why you didn't want me rushing into things. After Brom. It got him killed. I'm sorry if I was dismissive before. You didn't know, and look, I say we put it behind us. I can do that. So, are you getting used to your new abilities? I'll be getting used to them forever. Fair enough. We can't be sure you're even mortal anymore. What? I was just exaggerating. What do you mean I might not be mortal? Nev? Nev! You're getting the hang of those powers. Really? I'm trying. It's all... Honestly... I don't know yet. Fair enough. What you're drawing from, it's not like my magic. 
Which means no one can tell if I'm doing this right. Or it means you make the rules. <sighs> That's even more pressure. So, Nev, I know our powers are different. This should be interesting. It's nothing interesting. Just... Please tell me you messed up sometimes. Still do. Sometimes it's even magic related. Ugh, <sighs> that's good to hear. Thanks. Sure. And there's no reason you asked. Not anymore. The mayor of Demeta's Crossing, or I guess it's Warden Julius now, he really seems to be trying with the Grey Wardens. Guilt can be a strong motivator in all sorts of directions. I was so mad and I really wanted to... I suppose people can change with a second chance. If someone gives them one. <laughs> Did we ever tell you about the time Varric and I had to wade through a sewer? Let me guess. He hated it and wouldn't stop telling you how much. <laughs> yup. And I wouldn't change it for the world. The lighthouse. I can see why Solus loved it. At least, I think he did. We talked a few times, but I didn't know him well. After Arlethan, I wonder if I knew him at all. People can surprise you. That's an understatement. That's the truth. I know it was a while ago, but you and Solus were both in the Inquisition. If there's anything you can remember, it might prove useful. Nev, I've been thinking. If Solus is in Rook's head, wouldn't he know more about him than me? Rook knows Solus now. You knew him at a different time. It's another angle. I'm not sure what else I can tell you. He doesn't like tea? Hmm. <laughs> that can't be useful. You'd be surprised. Sometimes I remember the things Solus said. And it finally dawns that he was talking about being the Dread Wolf. Go on. He'd make offhand comments about Arlethan's court and the rebellion against the Elven Gods. And it never occurred to me that he was actually there. Why would we think he was there? He couldn't have been there. But he was. You're saying he slipped up. Or got cocky. Interesting. Do you know the giant ginger cat that hangs around Halos' fish stand? Ferdinand. <laughs> That's a good name for him. He looks like a Ferdinand. Anyway, he reminds me of this cat that used to come in our windows looking for bread. Bread? <laughs> He'd come in like he owned the place and tore chunks from our loaves. <laughs> it made for some odd looking sandwiches. You joined the Inquisition early. <laughs> yeah, I volunteered because lost Inquisition soldiers kept showing up and spooking my sheep. They had really old maps. You're close to Charter, the Inquisition spymaster. <laughs> Is anyone close to Charter, really? <laughs> you know, I once saw her make a Marquis weep just by greeting him. Must have been some greeting. I have friends in Minrathis. Do you know? I don't know everyone in the city. You know the Viper, and everyone thinks he's a myth. Sure. And Dorian. Oh, he's not quiet. And he's one of ours. What about the elf who makes tiny cakes? Dartara. I made that one up. You should meet her. It's a damn good cake. How long have you known Dorian? By reputation, a while. In person, when I joined the Shadows. Hmm. He's really found a place with the Shadow Dragons. It's nice to see. He had more sympathy for the institution of slavery when I first met him. He credits the Inquisition for breaking that. Started fighting for change when he got back. Overdue reflection, as he put it. Dorian? Engaged in reflection? That doesn't involve mirrors? We don't know it didn't involve mirrors. Would you like a berry? I found them last week, but they're still good. Found where? There was a whole patch in that Minrathus Square. In the... Mages throw out used components there. 
Oh. <gasps> oh no. If you grow a tail, don't come to me. I dreamed about strawberry tarts last night. Fun. And you're telling me this because... Because the whole dream thing's still new to me. Also, you were there. You stole my tarts. Are you mad at me for something I did in a dream? Uh, no. Apparently, if one dreams of cake, tarts, or sweets, it symbolizes celebration or togetherness. And if someone takes your cake or tart, it's a warning of separation. This is about that dream where I took your strawberry tart. Tarts. You definitely stole more than one. So, you bought that book we saw in Minrathos, about the ancient wisdom of dreams or similar bunk? Hmm, maybe? You're a mage. Do dreams actually mean anything? Maybe. It's all tied to emotion, thoughts, secrets. Our minds go places in the Fade that resonate for one reason or another. Fear, anger, hope. The Fade responds to these things. So they do mean something. Sure, but they only make sense to the dreamer. There are no rules. You spend a lot of time reading case notes. I'm never short on material. Okay, but you must... I mean, that's not how you relax. <laughs> Get me fried fish, bad coffee, and you're not far wrong. There's always something happening in Minrathis. News to me. I mean, there's a nightlife, music, dancing, shows. But we didn't have that in my village. We should go to something like that. It would be fun. You mean when there's not some murder or intrigue to follow? Um, yes. <laughs> well, wouldn't that be something? Okay, listen. I've made a list of things to do in Minrathis. First, there's the Moonlight Bazaar. Overpriced trinkets, and the tonics are half water. Uh, fine, but what about the new play, Bitter Wine, Bitter Blood? Bad reviews. And the playwright might be a Venatori. Plumeria is a restaurant. That only serves mages. <gasps> That's allowed? No, but the food's served in orbs that only dissolve with magical touch. It's part of the experience. They call it gormaturgy. Ugh, let's just go to Halos's and throw stones off a dock. You got it. Hey, Nev. You ever been to the Cinder Vault? How did you learn about the vault? Have you been to the vault? Listen, when I heard they were organizing an offering of flesh, I thought to myself, Lace, that sounds like some Venatory plot. It, it wasn't. A venatory plot. I apologized. A lot. With my eyes shut. They were very nice about it. Mm-hmm. At least a half dozen shadow dragons share that story. Have they thought about renaming things? You'd think they would. All right. You're trapped on a deserted island. You can bring three things. What are they? An experienced sailor. A boat and coin to bribe passage off the island. That's not how this works. All right, your deserted island scheme. It's not a scheme. It's supposed to be a fun question. What three things would you bring? Easy, my bow, clean socks, and a spoon. The bow I get, socks, and a spoon. Clean, dry socks are priceless when you're outdoors. And try eating soup without a spoon. Where are you getting soup on a desert island? I'm going to make it with my spoon. Fried fish or coffee, if you had to pick. Am I hungry or working? If you could only have one of these things for the rest of your life. Why can I only get one? Has something happened to the fish? To the coffee? N no, they just want you to pick which one you like better. Who's they? And why the ultimatum? What's their angle? Ugh, you are so bad at this game! That letter you carry, from someone important. That? Oh, um, it's from my ma. We write a lot, but this one's the first one she sent me after I joined the Inquisition. 
It reminds me that people love me, and maybe that love keeps me safe. I know it doesn't really. It's silly. Only the things you hang on to, and the things you lose. Oh, I won't lose it. I spilled tea on it once, and there might be a small blood stain in the corner, but I'd never lose it. I thought after Corypheus, the Venatori would disappear. Oh, naive little lace. They lost ground. For a bit. But the Venatori don't follow a leader. They follow an ideology. And that's hardest to kill. <sighs> Minrathus is so bright. Bright? The magical lights? They're on all the time. How do you sleep? With my eyes shut. <sighs> I miss the stars. It's strange to see what the Templar Order's like here. Mages controlling Templars. Templars controlling mages, like they do in the South, it's not much better. Oh, I know. None of it is good. Ugh. I'm such a mess. How did a battle looking so perfect? Perfect? You know what I mean. Once the smoke clears, there you are. Not a single hair out of place. Every time. Well, I have no idea. It must be magic. 